every year an id admits only few students in its each discipline now this jury members and the examiners have this tedious task of selecting only a handful of students in this case they will always select students with passion and eagerness to learn and this is where this stream specific topic become tricky for the students they don't know how to handle this knowledge part and they don't know how to prepare for it today in this video i'll try to decode this section and also try to discuss how to prepare for your stream hi my name is arunav and this is kapil studio Let's start with the first basic question on the topic why they are asking these stream specific question. The answer is simple that they want to test whether you are fit for this course or not. But then the next question would be what is it that they are looking in you? Well there can be many parameters but if I try to club them together I feel they can be categorized in few headings. So they are testing in a student his or her first IQ that is your reasoning ability, second your knowledge about that stream, third your understanding of the profession and fourth creativity that is ability to address a situation from different perspective. Now the question is how do you prepare for these parameters and how to address them in the exam I'll come to the reasoning and ability part in a bit let's understand the important part first and that is knowledge and understanding of the course I hope you understand that they are not expecting you to become a universal designer and then apply for the course they are going to test you at a very basic level only how well you understand the profession and why you are actually applying for it here the first source for you should be course details mentioned on NID website I know that it is difficult to understand anything from here because of the flurry language that is used. But if you look closely, this small passage is a gist of whole stream. Almost every word is a keyword in itself. Read it, reread it, and when you have read it enough, read it again and ask yourself the meaning of each word. If you don't understand anything, search them on the internet. Believe me, on every keyword you will find books and some articles. And this is how you develop your knowledge and understanding on your stream. Apart from this you can search on the internet the basic principles of your stream you will find some basics of that particular stream search for some important keywords related to your stream read it and try to update yourself on a daily basis next you have to understand the process of the stream that you are applying for let's say you are going to apply in product design now you have to ask yourself what is the process and workflow of a product designer this will give you more insights and the basics about that particular stream for this you can follow a famous personality or a designer or a company from your stream and you can also go and read about the interviews of a particular designer remember that you have to understand the basics of that stream so maybe even if you are reading some complex keyword on a particular stream you have to understand it at a basic level you have to ask yourself what is that quality that a universal designer or interaction designer or maybe a product designer or game designer should have if you can think of that you have cracked the code because in the exam the questions are just going to test your ability to learn and understand a particular stream here getting an idea of the questions asked earlier in that particular stream can also help you a lot let me illustrate this with an example i'm sure you must have heard this one question explained by anjali in her video where she spoke about how she answered the interaction design question where you were asked to design a stall for children to help them understand the importance of hygiene while most of the students could not relate to the correlation between interaction design and designing a stall she designed a stall where students would interact with turmeric based wall and learn about the importance of hygiene here she just tried to stick to the basics of the interaction design and that is interaction in real sense isn't it but here she addressed one more thing and that is creativity creativity is about addressing a situation from different perspective the example of the interaction design question was on the same line while the question sounds like a question from exhibition design stream she answered from an interaction design point of view i believe everyone is creative and as you broaden your experience and understanding the line between different fields subject and stream gets blurred you start observing that how everything can correlate and how the basic principles of design can be implemented everywhere so next time when you see a question in the exam and you are in doubt how to answer this question this sounds like a question from different stream just calm yourself down and try to think how you can answer this by incorporating the basics of your stream and same logic applies with any other stream What do you think would be the basic quality for a film and video communication designer? A film is about video, stories and sound. So this is what they are going to test you in the exam, isn't it? Similarly, photography is about lighting, story and frames. So you develop all this understanding for a particular stream when you gain knowledge about it and you do this by reading and updating yourself every day. Now the reasoning or the IQ part of the stream develops automatically as you understand the workflow and the process. Don't you think that if you have understood the workflow of a product designer you know that what are the things that they are expecting you to keep in mind while designing a product actually it is this part that distinguishes between a wanna be and a practical mature aspirant i am sure everyone watching this video right now can draw some vehicle on the paper 
बट माई क्वेश्चन इज डज दैट मेक यूर ट्रांसपोर्ट डिजाइनर और मेमोराइजिंग द नेम्स ऑफ द कार्स एंड बाइक ब्रांड मेक यूर ट्रांसपोर्ट डिजाइनर नो इज इट 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 इज वेन यू हैव द एबिलिटी टू क्वेश्चन अ पर्टिकुलर डिजाइन इट इज देन यू बिकम अ पर्टिकुलर डिजाइनर इज इट एंड दिस कैन हैपन ओनली वेन यू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोसेस नाउ आई एम नॉट आस्किंग यू टू डू रिसर्च एंड बिकम अ ट्रांसपोर्ट डिजाइनर नो आई एम जस्ट आस्किंग यू टू गेट द आइडिया एट योर एंड एट लीस्ट वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस यू कैन ट्राई टू एंटिसिपेट हाउ दे आर गोइंग टू टेस्ट यू इन दीज बेसिक्स द स्ट्रीम स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन आर नॉट ऑलवेज अबाउट ड्रॉइंग ओनली The questions can be a mix of objective and subjective questions. This means you have to prepare for a stream accordingly. Questions in textile design can be on theory of fabrics and yarns and it can also include some garment design questions as well. So to recall what I discussed in this video is that in next few weeks you have to work on knowledge and understanding, reasoning and creativity. Develop your knowledge through reading about the stream and understanding by questioning the basic quality needed. Reasoning develops as understanding gets better and creativity is about correlating different streams. But whatever be the parameter, everything comes down to the point that if you can answer in one line, what is your stream? Who is a product designer, a universal designer, a game designer, or a graduate of SDM from an ID? Look for the answer to this question, and I'm sure you will find your answers in the stream-specific topics. It is one aspect that should be personal to you. You don't need any coaching in this case. Everything is out there. When you go for the interview round in an ID, the first question they ask you is why? Why you want to join this course, and what is it that you are expecting from this course? I think during this time when you are reading the rules about a particular stream you develop your answer and it is through this process that you develop passion for your particular stream